what's up clashers this is jm from the chicken nuggets bringing you our next world recap video and before we begin christmas just ended and i missed a couple wars um through the christmas and because of the update that just occurred that wiped out all the replays from one of my wars uh, so unfortunately that happened but we ended up winning our last war against Shibi Cray Brewery. But as you can see, we have not been doing great uh, up to Christmas time. Uh, just onslaught, onslaught slaughter uh, for our morale in these last few wars. But hopefully, we can begin a new win streak uh, and just dominate like we used to. So, here we go. Uh, guy gave it up to Shibi Cray Brewery. They did. Do some work on our Taho 10s and they did a lot of work on our Taho 9s. Uh, so just give it up for them for trying. Uh, but we ended up just destroying their Taho 9s, just complete destruction, no stars left behind. All Taho 8s are just gone. Uh, we definitely uh, took out a lot of their Taho 10s, but suffered there on the Taho 11. They couldn't get that, uh, that second star on that Taho 10, number 5. That was all my fault on that one. But the first attack we have for you guys today is DJ going in under number 10. DJ's coming in with Golaloon attack and the way he attacks this is perfect. He has a plan for every single one of these air defenses. He starts by luring the, the CC troops. He drops two, two poison spells right there on the CC troops. Gonna fast forward a little bit here. And that's just how you do it now. You just drop those two poisons. If a dragon comes out with the balloons, you just have to drop the two poisons and they will just take those out automatically. Now with this, this extra poison, this extra spell space, it's just too easy. It definitely just makes the CC troops irrelevant and that's probably why this guy put it on the side like this. He drops his hogs here on the, on the, on the left side with a heal, goes ahead and takes out that expo which is clutch and he's gonna go ahead and take out that next air defense. His kill squad is here on the left side, trying to take out that second air defense. But that's so this was it. He had a plan for that first air defense with the hogs. The plan with the second air defense with the, with the heroes. He begins his hound deployment on the third air defense here, and I just noticed that this this base has its its uh, its expo set to ground only, and you just can't do that. You cannot do that if you have such low level air defenses you will get wrecked like this place is getting wrecked right now he goes ahead and drops that rage there to help his balloons rage has a total of three hounds another hound has popped the first one pops right there some air scullies come out and that's definitely what hurts him here he did not expect those air scullies uh, they take out a considerable amount of his of his of his balloons goes ahead and drops that that haze right there to help those balloons across to those tussles those tells us and there goes the last defense only the king is left he has some wizards on the back end cleaning up the trash buildings his queen's still up she still has her babies uh, drops goes ahead and drops some uh, wall breakers here inside just to drop him he just used all his troops and this base is wrecked uh, great job dj that's exactly how you're supposed to approach those bases he realized that those expos were on ground only and he had a plan for each and one of those air defenses. He wasn't afraid to bring those hogs and he wasn't afraid to bring the heal. He knew where his hogs were going to go. Great job, buddy. The next attack we have for you guys today is El Sobrano going in on the number 11. Let's see what Elso has for us today. Esso's coming in with go hog attack. He's gonna go ahead and drop his kill squad on the right side. He's gonna try to target that queen. He's gonna try to target that expo. He's gonna try to get into the middle of that base. Drop some wall breakers uh, with some wizards behind for cleanup purposes. Uh, here comes the royals. The hound comes out to CC. So the queen will be busy there for a while. He goes ahead and drops that poison on the CC troop. I would have waited till it popped. Uh, it's a little, it's a little hound to, to drop that, that that poison, but that's okay. He has enough enough golems for tanking purposes. He's gonna go ahead and drop that jump there. All his troops are gonna go in the middle. He's trying to trigger some some bomb locations there. Hasn't triggered any yet. Begins his uh, his hog deployment here on the right side. I like how he released them, kind of a scattered form, but but directly into the base. There goes one down, one down bomb. 
he drops that 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 heel to heal his troops. They split, and this is exactly why I like to, to throw him out in a scattered form because um, it gives him more of a chance to split. He drops that second heel right there uh, as they talk at that expo. Uh, he, some scullies do get triggered right here. The king is following them on the left side. Uh, he, he drops a wizard here for cleaning purposes. Still has his queen's ability. Uh, hogs are looking pretty good. There goes another bomb. And this is just a great attack by El Sol. He saw that this base had the big uh, flow of no down bomb locations. All his bombs were separated. Uh, the fourth bomb didn't even go off. His troops didn't even have to go there. Uh, jumps that last poison as the scullies target his hogs. His hogs are not, now just going to go around the base and target all these trash buildings. Uh, so we're just going to fast forward because all this is just trash buildings and wizards taking out some trash buildings inside and just great attack by El Sol. Coming in with a total of three golems uh, dipping down to two to two ranks below him to, 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 to get this three star and that's just how you do it. Uh, he saw his opportunity, he saw what he needed to do with his troop composition and he did it. Great job El Sol. Keep up the good work. The next attack we have for you guys today is DJ. We're getting a double dose of DJ going up against Chuck Norris. <laughs> so let's see what DJ has for us today. DJ is coming in with a gold loon attack. Um, and this is exactly why I wanted to show DJ's attack again. He goes ahead and drops that sap quick on that high level air defense, one of the high air defenses of this base. Uh, it's because he has a plan for this base. He has a plan for every single one of these air defenses. And, and a different plan from what the first one he had. And this is exactly why I wanted to show it. Because he adjusted. And this is exactly what you're going to do to be effective in this game and three star these bases. Goes ahead and drops the kill squad here at the bottom side. Lures out the CC troops. He's going to drop that poison on the CC troops right now. CC troops are going to go into that base. Uh, drops some wall breakers, drops that rage to get the wall breakers into the base. He goes ahead and drops some more rages here on the side, uh, some more wall breakers are here on the side, and they invert the rage unfortunately, but they still do their job. Uh, they, they're targeting that, that core right now. Uh, his king's ability is still there, his queen's ability is still there. Uh, he goes ahead and uses that king's ability right now as they target the, the, the enemy king. The enemy queen is there, she's getting targeted. Both air defenses are, have gone down. Enemy Queen has gone down. He begins his new deployment here on the left side. Uh, he only has one air defense to worry about, and that's a very low level air defense for the troops that he's bringing. Drops his hound, his dudes right on the back side. He still has four loots to go. One hound pops. There goes his haste. They go into the middle of that base. There go the other, the, the, the other balloons. And there's just nothing left for all these balloons to target. Uh, one wrist, one wrist tower, one archer tower, and one Tulsa. That's not enough to take out this base. Uh, look at old. He still has one hound uh, there. She's gonna pop as soon as she targets that last archer tower, which is perfect because he's gonna need it for cleanup purposes. But look how many balloons he has left. That's at least ten balloons there, and just a great attack by DJ. Uh, this is exactly how you're supposed to approach these bases. To get a plan. Is it air defense friendly? Is it hog friendly? Which one is it? Uh, do you just gotta apply a completely different strategy? You gotta look for the weaknesses in the base, and that's exactly what DJ did, and it's exactly why he gets another uh, one of his replays here on the war recap. Great job, DJ. Keep up the great work. The next attack we have for you guys is. Lama Tofu going in under number 13. Let's see what Lama has for us today. Lama Tofu's coming in with her classic Golden Loom attack with the two witches. Classic. Uh, goes ahead and drops that. The, the kill squad there on the right side drops that rage uh, just to get those those wall breakers into that compartment and there they go opening up both compartments there go his royals there goes his uh witches there go more wall breakers there goes all his wizards going just trying to target the enemy queen try to get deep into the base trying to target both air defenses and take them out that's exactly what what lama does every single attack and she's just perfected it uh, goes ahead and drops that poison there drops a double poison which is the way to go i believe 
especially when you have so many more spells uh, left over. Uh, that she's a, the enemy queen is gonna go down pretty soon, and the last enemy is gonna go down pretty soon. Uh, it's able to take out an, an, an expert, which is perfect. Goes ahead and drops his hounds and his loons right here on the left side. One hound pops, has that rage waiting for for his loons to get in there. They there they go. Has also that heal there. As they go above the expo and they're above the, the, the west tower, they're all healed up. There's nothing targeting them there. Uh, there goes the last rage. Uh, that was a little bit of a hiccup as they had to go to the side to target that that um, that defense. Sure, drop some loons there, but just enough firepower to get through that little mistake. There goes some back end balloons. This queen is still up. She's about to take down that that town hall. Uh, there goes another defense and only one defense left and it's that Tausa, that low level Tausa still has a hound still up and look at all those balloons up there for cleaning purposes unfortunately that last hound didn't pop um, so he's gonna have to just um, we're gonna have to just fast forward to this because he doesn't have enough troops uh, to get this done as quickly as possible but just destruction my llama this is so classic llama uh, she's perfecting this attack I'm surprised that more of our, our nuggets have just copied this attack completely because it's such an effective attack especially those two witches which a lot of people wouldn't think of bringing but she brings them and they just they, they soak up a lot of damage as they try to target those, those, those two air defenses initially great job Lampatofu keep up the great work the last attack we have for you guys today is Ganicus going in under number 15 let's see what Ganicus has for us today Ganicus is coming in with uh, witches, a bunch of wizards, four quakes, and um, some Valks. He goes ahead and drops all four quakes uh, to open that whole core up for his troops. He's gonna drop everything down here on the left side. And this is the main reason why I wanted to show this attack because uh, it used the, it, it shows the value of witches uh, combined with Valks. Uh, just the witches for taking purposes and the box just to just destroy it. and they're also very tanky troops so if you can combine them uh, and have very good uh, spell placement you can get this kind of attack going uh, it goes ahead and drops that heal uh, for his box they're trying to keep them all alive which is the key to this attack you gotta try to keep those box alive as much as possible because they will just slaughter this base if there's enough of them and if they have enough health to get through this base, they would just look at them, just slaughtering the middle of that base. With all those defenses, uh, that expo is about to go down right now. And um, and look, and he brought three golems as well. Wow, they noticed that he goes ahead and drops that poison there because he's trying to target that archer tower, with, which makes no sense because the poison does not uh, have any damage from full defenses. Uh, kind of a, a swag spell there, I guess. But this is exactly what I wanted to show you because. If you're just able to combine those two effectively the, the way Ganicus did, uh, you don't have to uh, bring balloons and you don't have to bring hogs. Uh, that this true compensation all, also works if you just know how to use it correctly. Uh, and Ganicus was able to use it correctly. Great job, Ganicus. That's how, exactly how you use those troops. And that wraps it up this, for this war recap. Uh, this is JM signing off. And remember, guys, attack swiftly, become deadly. And always stay crispy, my friends. This is JM signing out. <laughs>